The Autumn Walk Soap has got an upgrade. Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am the soap artist here on this channel. I made Autumn Walk a few years ago and then I've done some remakes of it since and I really wanted to give that puppy a facelift because these colors are never strong enough. I just wasn't good enough at combining them and making them truly what they should be because this fragrance oil is fabulous. It's the absolute epitome of autumn. So I can never say no to it. <laughs> I just needed to utilize it better. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I did want to rename it Woodland Whimsy because I thought it had a little bit of like a wood nymph, sort of a forest sprite look to it. And then I was like, wait a second, haven't I named a soap that before? And I have, so now I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I do kind of want to call it Forest Sprite. I think that would be so cute. It's just so fairy-like and magical. Anyway, maybe after you guys see it, you can help me decide. So without further ado, let's get soap making. We are going to begin by pouring our lye water solution into our oils. And now I'm gonna blend on low until light trace, or maybe just emulsification is achieved. We're gonna have three colors in today's soap. The first color we're using today is Alpine Green from Nurture Soap. The second color is Aztec Gold from TKB Trading. And the third color is Queen Catherine from TKB Trading. So let's blend up the colors before putting the fragrance oil in. These are the most autumnal colors I have ever seen. And that gold is downright sparkly. For the fragrance oil, I am using Autumn Woods from Nature's Garden. This is such a nostalgic fragrance oil to me. It reminds me of walking around as a child in my little rain boots and my fluffy scarf in my parents' backyard while my dad burned leaves. It does rice a little bit if you're planning on using this in your soap, just a forewarning. Now that our fragrance oil is blended in, let's start pouring our drop swirl into our two molds. Our two molds have been lined, so I'm going to start pouring in the soap. And it's getting a little thicker. I waited just a touch so that it would get a little thicker because I want the colors to remain really, really, really separate. Pour that red in now. It's going to be big gloppy colors in there. And this fragrance oil is so complex. There's so many different things happening in there. I smell some sweetness of apples. There's some crisp leaves. There's a little bit of like a smoky smell in there as well. It's just really good all around. Pour some red in there from up pretty high so it mixes. Come over here and do the same to this side. So I really only ended up doing about two passes with these colors. All right, so I'm gonna tap this down real quick. Before it gets too hot on the inside, I'm gonna take this hanger swirl tool and mix just a little bit, not a whole bunch, maybe six or seven up and down. Wipe off the rest on top. And now I'm gonna tap this down once more to make sure there's no air bubbles inside. And anything left in my containers, I'm gonna scrape out, scrapey scrapey, with my spatula. And we're gonna add that right on top of the soap and tap it down once more before putting the frosting on. It's time to put the frosting on the soap and it is a little runny, admittedly so, but I'm impatient. I am using the Royalty Soaps piping set available at nurturesoap.com. Com. This tip, I don't know if it's considered a closed star, but it does make really pretty ridges. This soap is so autumnal. I have been hankering for autumn for the past month. I don't know why. This summer was just really brutal in Texas, and normally I like to string out summer as long as I can, but not this year. Like, summer, I was like, goodbye, goodbye summer. <laughs> I think being an adult has jaded me against summer, because as a kid, there's no school during the summertime, but there's still work 
for adults. You don't get to take the whole summer off. So now it's like, oh, you have to work every day and it's boiling outside. A good majority of my friends and acquaintances are still in college, so summer is something that they definitely still look forward to, but I'm past that, so I'm ready for autumn. And autumn in Texas is still like blistering hot outside most of the time, don't get me wrong. When it's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, people start wearing sweaters. <laughs> they lean out and start talking to their neighbors about the cool front that came through. They're like, gosh, I woke up and it was kind of chilly this morning. All right, we're gonna start on the second layer here on top. We're just gonna put two little dollops across. It's been a while since I used this tip. I really fell in love with the one I purchased from Amazon that has even more little prongs than this one. But I don't know, I, this one spoke to me for the autumn soap. And every time I use it, I feel like it makes the soap look like it has little trees on top. Time to put the very last dollop on these. And now, with a little bit of Aztec gold and a little bit of Maya gold mixed together, we're gonna spritz it with this little spritzer from Nurture. We're not gonna cover the whole thing in gold. I just wanted it to look a little bit sparkly. Little bit gold kissed, as it were. Now that it has been spritzed with gold, I'm gonna start putting on the first embed. There's gonna be three on each soap. So this first one is this really neon purple berry. These were made using the blackberry mold from Vanillae, and they are inspired by the American Beauty Berry. I did some quick research on the American American beauty berry. They're indigenous to the southern North American states. And this purple color is a very accurate representation of the purple that it is in real life. They grow all around Texas. Every time autumn rolls around, if you're in the country, you'll see them among the woods. It's a really giant bush, and then the berries that grow on it are just this wild neon purple, and birds love them, deer love them. Technically, you can eat them, even though they will give you a tummy ache if you eat too many of them. We were always told as kids to stay away, but to use them for decor um, and for play food for games. We decorated our mud pies with them quite often. But as a child, I thought they were just, oh, I, they were the ultimate berry to me. And I said multiple times that when I got married, I wanted them in my wedding bouquet. <laughs> Had I gotten married in the fall, I definitely would have appeased um, my younger self by having that happen. But I got married in the spring and they only come around from September to November. All the beauty berries are in now, so I'm gonna add some oak leaves in three different colors. They have also been dusted with gold glitter to make sure the veins on them are very noticeable and prominent. These are being put in on the sides because they are rather large. The gold accents on all the embeds and on the piping is giving me some woodland sprite vibes. Very fall fairy looking. All the embeds that I'm adding currently are made of soap. I made them using embed molds from Vanillae. All of them are from Vanillae, not just the berries. I get my embed molds from a variety of places, including Amazon. Amazon has some really cool ones. Most of the time, they are ice cube trays. But Vanillae's are more specialized and oftentimes have a lot more detail, so I like shopping from them. And finally, we are going to add our acorns on. The acorns are in all different shapes and sizes, and I've covered them in a little bit of mocha brown mica from Nurture Soap. Just gonna put the ones on the ends first. I like to take special care of my end pieces, make sure that their embeds look really good, and then we'll move along to placing them properly on the opposite side of the American Beauty Berry. This soap has definitely received a facelift from the first time I made it. This was one of the very first fragrances I used when making soap, and my soap was, well, it just, it was not very nice to look at. <laughs> 
I'm not going to put any glitter on the soap because I don't want it to detract from the intricacy of the embeds. Alrighty, all the embeds are in, so let's spritz this top with rubbing alcohol. And this is what the completed bar looks like. So you can see there's that nice outside piece. And then as we go along, we have all of those oak leaves. And then on the other side, we have the acorns. All in all, I'm really thrilled with the um, upgrade to the autumn walk soap. I do kind of want to change the name of it though. Like now that I've created it, it doesn't look as much like autumn walk as it does like a woodland fairy or something like that. So I'm going to let these sit for 18 to 24 hours and then I will be back tomorrow to cup them all up after this quick commercial break. We are back the next day to cut the woodland soap, whatever its name is. <laughs> I'm gonna line it up with my multi-bar cutter. Hopefully, once again, I have placed everything where it will go to not be whacked. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. So I'm gonna start pushing down very slowly. Oh good, all the acorns are intact too. Hooray! So let's pull out this middle bar. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh man, it smells so good. So here is that really dark Aztec gold. We've got Alpine green and the Queen Catherine in there. And then of course we have the green piping on top, the beauty berry, the little acorn, and the oak leaf as well. The swirl turned out really good too, even though it was pretty thick on the inside. I'm really pleased with that. Also, you can probably see that the embeds sweat a little bit, and that is no big deal. It's pretty common with melt and pour. You can fix it really easily by simply spritzing with rubbing alcohol. And when that dries, it'll look good as new. The question of the day is a fall of fragrance question. I would like to know, what sort of autumn scents do you like? Do you like the foodie ones, like the pumpkin spice, marshmallow fireside type fall fragrances, or like the autumn leaves, fresh outdoors, earthy scent type fragrances? You can let me know by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Do you love it? I'm seriously so thrilled with it, so thrilled. Those colors are just this soap is going to be available to purchase on October 1st at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time at RoyaltySoaps.com. I'm so glad the release fell on October 1st because we typically do the first Monday of every month and it happened to be October 1st and that's just... It's so autumnal. It just seems so perfect to release the first of the fall soaps on October 1st. Do something fun for yourself today, whether that's going on a walk through the forest or gathering pretty little fairy bits around your backyard to put on your dining room table. Yes, I may or may not be doing both of those things today. <laughs> Either way, do something that makes you happy and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Meow.